Hey there, I've got Ivy here with me today, and she's gonna help me teach our new zone spelling card, the tree card. So how will Ivy help me tree with the tree card? So our focus this week is the long E, and if you listen to Ivy's name, Ivy, Ivy has an E sound at the end, but I don't have an E in her name. So we're gonna listen and learn about different ways we can spell the long E sound. So we've been talking a lot about the difference between short vowels and long vowels, and we have the egg card with the short E sound that makes an S sound. Sometimes you have E-A, like in the word head, eh, that's also E-A. And then, or like I read my book yesterday. So sometimes there's E-A and the short E, but most of the time you will find the long E sound has different spelling patterns that make it say the E sound. And one of those ways is E-A. So today we're going to be looking at some of the different ones like E blank E. That's like our magic E pattern that we've done with our other vowels. You have E A, E E, plain old E. Then you have blank Y. So that's telling me it's at the end. You have blank I E blank and then blank E Y again at the end. So this week, we want to pay close attention to those long E sounds. And when we see words that we don't know, we want to look for those patterns. So instead of sounding out the individual letters, we want to look for the long E sound. So for an example, we have the word week. Now this is not the week like seven days. This is like, I'm feeling weak. So we have week. Each of these is a sound, so what eek, these go together to make the long E sound. Another word would be need. Mm. E, duh. look at what makes the long E sound in this word. So you have mm, E, duh. So this E, E, E spelling makes the long E sound. Listen to this word. The word is field. Like I would like to go on a field trip. I wish we could go on a field trip. Maybe we can take a virtual one. Field, so it's F-I-E-L-D. So when you go to sound it out, you're not gonna sound out E-L-D, field. This makes a new sound. So you have E-L-D, field. And that's one of the spellings here. So I said, we're gonna to get to IV. How do we have IV have an E sound? Well, it's a proper noun, so I'm gonna capitalize her name. So we have I and then V, Y. Sometimes in words at the very end, you're gonna see a Y, like in the word many. Many has an E at the end. That's the sound, it's made with the Y. Same thing with IV, has the E at the end with a Y. So as you are doing your spelling this week, look for the different vowel patterns. Look to see what goes together. And when you sound out a word, ap, ya, hap, ya, does that make sense? Try a different, flip a sound. Try a different sound that you know it could make. And you might be hap. B to see you know the world word after all. So keep working hard, study the spelling patterns, practice your words, and let your light shine. See you later.